Hey everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation. And this video, we're gonna go over the Leader Meter 4 by Spectre Pier. We're gonna go through kind of how to get it set up, uh, some of the features of it. Uh, also, I will do a review on it as well at the end. I've been using it for approximately three months. So, without further ado, here's what it looks like. It's probably roughly, uh, I would say about three inches by about two inches by about two inches deep. Um, it's got four connectors uh, for pumps, A, B, C, and D. And it's got four connectors for inputs, which can use any type of contact closure. It's pretty small. It's got uh, some tactile buttons here on the top, which you can hear. They just click right in. So we'll get it going. When you first start it up, this is the screen that you're gonna see. It's gonna tell you the firmware version uh, the ID, it's going to tell you if it's in remote mode or master mode because you can actually daisy chain these with multiple liter meters and put them in the master slave configurations. It'll also tell you if it's in local mode or if it's in um, what we call router mode. So out of the box, it's going to come in router mode. So it's going to expect you to connect to the system via a phone or a browser you just have to go to uh, any browser and you're going to find this ssid in my case it's lm4-1944 the ssid is also the password to the device so when you go to lm4-1914 you're going to be typing that in as your password once you've typed that in you're going to click and go to 192.168.4.1 in your browser and you will connect to the unit which we'll show you later in the video so everything you do with the leader meter you actually have to press and hold the buttons they're not um, just press buttons on everything you do so we're going to show you a couple tricks so the first trick is to factory default it to factory default it you press and hold the stop button and plug it in. When you do that, you wait for three beeps and then it's gonna clear everything, okay? So if you wanna get into the master and slave mode, you're gonna press and hold the right button and plug it in. That's gonna give you the ability to change it to a master or a slave pump. Right now it's in remote mode, which means it's gonna be basically a slave. And then it's gonna ask you to configure while you look for the other LM uh, the leader meter four. We're not going to go through that today. So we're going to actually just plug it back in and bring it back to master mode. But in case you ever see that, this is how you bring it back to master mode, which means you have a singular unit. Now, if you're using it in local mode, which means you're not going to be using uh, a router or you're not going to be using uh, Wi-Fi for this, you're going to want to press and hold the left button. And what that's going to do is it's going to take it out of Wi-Fi mode and put it into local. And you'll say, see now it says, will not use a router. And you can still connect to it uh, using your phone, but if you aren't gonna be using it on the internet or using it um, on anything else, you're gonna wanna put it into local mode. Okay, so one thing that's really neat about uh, the leader meter is if you want it to be uh, this uh, way instead of the other way, you can actually turn it upside down. And once you do that, you're gonna press and hold any button and it's gonna switch it to the uh, different orientation. So when you first get into the settings, uh, you're gonna have all your pumps. Again, everything that's done here needs to be pressed and held. So if you wanna get over to the settings, you're gonna press and hold right. And it's gonna go to the different settings that you can get to. You see that? Um, now, if you wanted to change the settings of pump A, you can go down and then change the modes of pump A right here. And you can set it to a delay, you can set it to a timer, you can set it to once a day, you can tell it to dose and how many minutes. You can have it uh, just dose a certain amount all throughout the day. There's a number of settings. You can have it on at all times. You can have it off at all times. Um, all of this uh, I found is easier to do on the phone or on the computer instead of from here, but you can do that. Now, if we go back up to where it said A, so let's go back to uh, and we press up and down. You will see that we can adjust the particular pump that we want to adjust, as you see, up and down. If you want to go back, you just press and hold the stop button. That'll usually get you back to the beginning or 
turn off all the pumps and then it'll get you back to the beginning. A lot of the settings on here are gonna be done, like I said, via the phone. So you're not gonna to wanna to do too much with the actual unit. But that's pretty much how uh, this guy works and how you get into everything. Okay, so now we're gonna go over the new pumps that come with these. Um, they have a kit that will provide you with one of their new pumps. Now, if you're familiar with the liter meter pumps, they've actually changed them. And now what's nice is this whole entire front piece here will come off if you need it to. And you can actually change the amount of speed that you want this to run at. Um, they actually come like this. So I put these little things on here, uh, which is nice because now they come with the John Guest fittings already on them. And one of the greatest things about this is this is dead silent. And that's one of my favorite features. It also pumps uh, between 150 and 250 milliliters a minute, which is very strong. Uh, you can easily get 200 feet without a doubt on this thing. Uh, I have it running across my house with no problems. Um, and I really love these pumps and I always have. Um, so we'll demonstrate this new pump that also comes with it. I did want to also mention, you'll notice something. Uh, when something is running, this is the screen that you're going to get to tell you that something is running. Um, so in this case, we're running pump A, and that's going to be the demonstration. So it uses your standard uh, stereo cable, stereo 3.5, so make sure it is a stereo 3.5. Um, I haven't tried a mono 3.5, which means there's only one of these little marks on it instead of two. We're going to plug it into A, and I'm going to be quiet for a second so you can hear how quiet this is. It is on right now. That is how quiet this pump is. You can barely even hear it. So that's a new pump uh, that, again, comes with their kits, but you can also buy these separately. And what I really like about these new pumps is it just uses your standard uh, stereo mini cable, like a headphone jack, and you can plug this in anywhere and you can run a wire to as far as you want to anywhere in any other location. So very, very cool features of this new device. So now we're gonna go through actually setting it up on a network, getting it onto your phone, where you can really do a lot more customization uh, a lot quicker than using the buttons on front. All right, so to set this up, it's quite simple. Uh, to begin with, you're gonna wanna make sure that the leader meter is in master mode and in router mode, as we discussed earlier in the video. As long as you do that, you're going to see here at the bottom of my Wi-Fi and my iPhone that it says LM4-1944. I'm going to click on that. And again, the password is the, going to be the same as the SSID, which is LM4-1944. Now, that'll be different depending on your model and um, which device you have. Now, once you get there, it's going to ask you to log in to the device. Now, the device itself is not configured yet, so you can't really do anything with it until you configure it. So this is where we configure it to hook up to your Wi-Fi in your house. So we're going to say configure Wi-Fi. You're going to find your Wi-Fi ID. You're going to type in your password. And this is going to connect your device to your Wi-Fi instead of it being directly connected to the device itself. Now, there is the uh, master mode or the no router mode that will indeed allow you to connect directly to it at all times. So again, you're gonna see that Wi-Fi, that LM4, no matter what you do, even if it's acquired to your, uh, your own Wi-Fi. And I hope they do something about that. Now, once you do that, you're going to see on the screen of the SpectraPure that it's gonna give you the ID of the device. Now in my case, uh, my ID was 192.168.2.91. That's what it pulled up at. So I'm going to say go. And this is what it looks like when you click on it. Now, it should look pretty familiar to what we saw earlier, but just a tad easier. You're going to be able to click on any of the pumps. And as you click on the pumps, it is also going to change the screen on the liter meter. Um, you can see that I have pump mode on. I can shut it off right here. I can set up a as a daily 
amount, and you can see I have my rate, uh, my daily total, my cycles per day. I can set up a, as a doser. I can set it up to dose once per day. I can also set it up on a timer. There's a couple different ways that you can set up each pump. And I can go to B and set it up separately, and D, and so forth. If I hit calibrate, you can actually begin the calibration of the device. If you've used a Spectra Pure Leader Meter, the calibration is quite simple. You click the device that you want to calibrate, and then you hit the, uh, begin. And once you do that, it's going to fill at a specific amount. Once it fills to that specific amount, you're going to put what the amount was when it got filled. A pretty simple calibration. And if you notice, you have to hit pump, and then you got to hit calibrate to go to that specific pump. This is where you set up the inputs. I found this to be a lot easier to do on the phone than to actually do on the device itself. This is where you select what kind of uh, sensor it is. Now, it could be a remote sensor from another liter meter. Again, we're only using a single liter meter in this case. You can set if the sensor is going to be wet or dry and what you want that pump to do when it's wet or dry. That's pretty much it. And again, it can be used for any type of float sensor or optical sensor. Wet meaning that the float sensor has been enabled or is near water. And then, of course, dry being not there. System doesn't do much. Uh, this is where you can set your time zone. This also tells you your ID and the uh, some other information. You can reset it to factory here. You can restart it from here. You can set up your time zone for your timers and firmware updates. So that's pretty much about it for the leader meter. That's how you set it up. That's how you configure it. Um, so we're going to move on to uh, the review now. All right, so we're going to move on to the review of the device. We're going to go over some of my pros and some of my cons of the device. So we'll start off with the cons. One of the things I did not like about this device whatsoever is the fact that the Wi-Fi is consistently on at all times. Um, for some of us that live in crowded areas, uh, you probably see a lot of Wi-Fi um, networks going on at once. Um, in my case, I do not, and I don't like to see a number of uh, networks and potentially have my guests connect to them. Furthermore, when you have a device that is constantly sending out a Wi-Fi signal, there is a slim chance that you could have interference with the device. And personally, I don't like that feature of it. Um, another uh, potential issue with the device is the fact that these buttons... Um, you have to press and hold them. Now, I understand why they did this uh, for accidental presses, but if you really want to set this up without using an app, it is very cumbersome to do. Um, I found that the menu was difficult to get through. Um, I do like the fact that it beeps to tell you when you are getting to somewhere, but the fact that you have to press and hold these, um, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, the Leader Meter 3 didn't have that ability. It had a much larger screen, so it was a little bit different. Um, so that's another thing I don't really like about it, but the fact that it doesn't have any type of cloud service or the fact that you have to connect it through a browser and there is no app. Um, I kind of understand where they're coming from with this. It's expensive to get cloud service. It's also expensive to uh, get an app developed and all that. And uh, SpectraPure isn't the biggest company, so I understand why they did that. I'm hopefully uh, I'm hoping in the future that they will get a get an app on the app store or something instead of connecting to a browser where you have to remember your id or your ip every single time um so these are again little uh cons but not a big deal to me it's one of those things that it's just cumbersome now one of the biggest cons of it all is the price um i wasn't sure when i got this how expensive it was going to be um until i started seeing it available now for over 500 dollars um, I think that's a little steep uh, for what this does. Um, there's so many other products on the market that you can get for a lot cheaper. Um, so I did find that a little bit um, interesting, to say the least, that the price is so much for this. Um, but it does do some pretty interesting things. Uh, it is probably the only thing on the market uh, that will do four remote pumps uh, and two water changes simultaneously, uh, which is kind of neat. Um, so we'll go through some of the positives. Obviously the size, the size is awesome. Uh, it's very small, it's very compact. You can put this pretty much anywhere. Uh, it's very light. Uh, it doesn't generate any heat whatsoever. Um, I do like the feature that you can turn it upside down and put the pumps into the back, uh, front, uh, I'm sorry, the top or the bottom, as you can see, which I really like about it. 
Um, I do like the fact that you can have remote pumps and they're not built into this unit. So that's kind of neat. The fact that it uses just your standard uh, stereo cable, which you can splice and run as far as you want, is quite uh, convenient in a lot of different situations. The fact that it has sensors turn off and on the pump is uh, pretty interesting. You don't see that a lot with dosing pumps. Um, so that's a nice little feature that they've added to it. Um, another thing, of course, will be their new pumps. Their new pumps are fantastic. If you are someone that really likes something quiet, uh, I can tell you this is the quietest pump I've ever heard. Um, it is a little beefy. Um, you can see that it pretty much sits with without any vibration. It's pretty remarkable. Um, I do wish they had some way to mount it. I know there's some companies out there that make some mounting kits for these. Uh, this is extremely easy to mount. You could just uh, put some double-sided tape and just mount it to a wall. I mean, it, it will stick to any board w without a doubt. This thing is light as can be. Um, so overall, uh, I think it's a fantastic unit. I'm going to give it about a 6 or 7, 6.5 out of 10. Um, I think the biggest uh, gripe that I have about it is the price at this point. Um, the fact that you can't control it with an app isn't a big deal because more than likely or not, you're not going to use it that much uh, from the app. You're going to probably set and forget this most of the time. Um, other than that, uh, I really have enjoyed using it. Um, it has cut a lot of my uh, water changes in half because of the speed and the frequency at which it can do it. Um, I do use a dose currently for my water changes. I did use this as well to see kind of the differences. And as I'm sure some of you know, if you want to do large water change with the dose, it's extremely loud and it's it takes quite a long time to do a water change. Uh, this at 200, roughly 250 milliliters a minute uh, and the amount of, of noise that is generated from this, which is almost nothing, uh, is really a fantastic thing. Um, so if they had, again, a lower price, uh, I think this would be a, a, a great buy for most people. Uh, if you're not worried about money, then I would definitely recommend you taking a look at these. So overall, uh, again, about a 6.5 out of 10-ish, I would say. Um, hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully you learned something about the Leader Meter 4. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. Uh, obviously, if you hit the thumbs up, that'll help me with my channel and get you more content out. So thank you for uh, watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.